Hello and welcome to the world premiere of Cargo Smart Release 0.4 and I'm happy to have in the presentation in the show uh, my friend Sydney. Hi Sydney. Good to be here, thank you. You might know him by the way from the very successful YouTube show called uh, Learning Rust with Good Oxide. If not, uh, please head there and watch some episodes. That said, I've been working on this for a month already, pretty much a month and I'm very proud to introduce the newest feature of Cargo Smart Release, which is change log generation. So without much ado, let me just say that I have prepared a fork of the awesome tool BAT, which I will now work with in order to, well, create change logs, change change logs, and make a few releases with Smart Release. Um, yeah, to show how awesome it is, of course. So by default, Smart Release does nothing. Uh, it doesn't alter anything, so they can just preview and see what it would do. And it says, oh, look, I would change your changelog.md file here. Uh, yeah, okay. Probably it's a bit hard to see <laughs> what changed if you don't know how it looked like before. So that's the original. It just starts with unreleased or case. And then there is, there's a bunch of, um, maybe I should make the that a bit smaller. And then there is a bunch of, yeah, headlines here. And the new version that it previews here in BAT already says that there is a title here that it automatically added and it added dates. And it also added some statistical information here, like commit statistics and commit details uh, in a way that is simplified. So it's as clean as possible now that you review it. Okay, now I hit. Right. So somehow it looks at the latest commits uh, until the last release, or well, since since the last release, essentially, and then just generates this change log for you. Yeah, it generates it, but it uses the existing one uh, and integrates with it. So it's not a change log generator; it's a scaffolding generator that always integrates with you, and it never overwrites what you write or interferes with you. So you can edit this, and you should edit this once it has given you the scaffolding. Uh, as you can see, there's sometimes these duplications here that you can now fix if you want to. And it also tells you, by the way, that it would prepare a release. So it's happy it would publish the change log as is after it wrote it. But now it wrote nothing. Okay. Uh, I don't know if you saw it, but here it also tells you about a new subcommand that is cargo change log, which allows you to do some edits. And yeah, I would just go ahead and do the release now by executing this and I also don't want to publish it because that wouldn't work. I don't want to publish it to crates.io. It's not my crate, unfortunately. Okay, last chance to abort if you want to. And now we go ahead and create a new tag and a new GitHub release as well. So now if I reload this, you will see here on the bottom right that there's a new release and it contains the change log section of the current release as you saw it before. And GitHub automatically inserts all these nice links and commit statistics are still there, commit details are foldable. So you can nicely jump to everything that happened in your change log. Yeah, that's already pretty much it. Now, that is pretty cool. Let's just, you know, you might also say, how did it know that the next version was 18.4? Is it always increasing the patch level? And I mean, first of all, you know, maybe you hit it again. Oh, it detects that nothing has changed. That's nice. So it's idempotent. Now, if I create a breaking change, uh, touch break, git add, get a break, git commit, and let's see, yeah, what do we do now? Like, how do I make this appear in the change log? How do I make it understand that this is a breaking change? Because now you can talk to smart release through the language of git conventional. So it's also this thing that it linked to in the change log. It's just a little convention. In this case, I say I have a new feature that adds a break. And it's a breaking change indicated by this exclamation mark. 
Uh, you can also add more nodes, add a body. This is why it breaks more details, yada, yada. Okay. So that helps you to just have a nicer change log later with some context and we are done. So now let's see what it would do if I ran it. I don't want to see the preview just yet. Uh, actually, I do want to see the preview because it should change the change log as well. Okay. So it bumped to version 0.19, which is in indicating a breaking change in a pre-release crate, and says here there's a new feature uh, that is breaking, and then you see exactly the comment that I put into the title and into the body, which will appear like, you know, just uh, like you want it in Markdown along with the statistics and, and everything. Yeah, so that looks exactly <clears throat> like I want it, um, but maybe... ...point there, you see that, right? So what if you did uh, want to change this now to fix it? Hmm. Well, I say no problem. Um, the thing is, now it only gave me a preview. <coughs> it didn't actually write it out, but I can force it to write it out without releasing anything We're using cargo change lock. Right. And now we see that here. It has the new unreleased upcoming release or the upcoming release under the unreleased headline, uh, unreleased headline. And it added a few tags here that you can use or that it uses to identify message or identify things that it created, but you own it. So now, of course, we can change what it writes here and just remove this add. Uh, and I can fix this typo, yada, yada. Okay. I think this is a line break here. This looks a bit funny because of that. Uh, so this is actually not... This is, on the same line as you see here. And now as always, let's just write this again so that we can verify that this is stable now and doesn't wobble around and that it doesn't overwrite things. I think that's what you are getting at, huh? So, yes. ah, it doesn't want to overwrite it, safety first. <laughs> let's make it a bit less safe and just allow overwriting it. And yeah, it looks like it just kept my changes. Yada, yada. Hmm. So you can just go back and forth, essentially making changes and then just checking if it still works. And once you're happy, you can actually go yes. ahead with the release. Yes. And that's the cool thing. You can just keep regenerating this over time. And, you know, sometimes you generate it, then you make the change look a bit prettier. And at the last, before the release, you will get a last look at it and you can choose to, you know, make it even prettier before you do the release. Uh, you can also add new messages here or there or some intro, uh, my own title with some list and other stuff that is just markdown something like that. And then if you generate it, it's still there. <coughs> it looks like, <laughs> it looks like uh, there is some closing bracket missing here. Oh no, it's not missing. It's actually just missing a new line. Okay. So I never oh, tried almost. that. I never tried that. It's always like this. It's demo mode, but it's okay. Um, in the meantime, always try to write again to be sure it's stable. Um, but usually it is. Let's try to write that again. Does it really kill? It really kills Kills the new line here. This has to do with parsing and the way this works. Sometimes Smart Release doesn't actually learn about these new lines. It doesn't also doesn't add them either. So um, have to check. But generally this works, but maybe some tweaks can still be made to get the new lines uh, better in these situations. It's it's a tough problem sometimes, um, but it's nice. Now I created my own change log. 
and let's just bring this to completion and we execute oh. execute it uh, maybe i should just type this no publish okay last chance looks good and we should see in a moment the new release show up. Oh, now that we talk about it here or see that it also created a tag object here. So the nice release log or change log for that particular release is also now written as text into the tag itself. So it's in your repository uh, forever that way and in the change log. And uh, by the way, look, there's no HTML text here, so it has been customized to look good in the tag. Whereas here on GitHub releases, there is uh, still HTML text so that this stuff gets possible. It's folding and unfolding here. So it does exactly what it needs to do and rewrites the log multiple times in order to get just the right version of your change log where it belongs. And that's Cargo Smart Release. Now. That's really awesome. Just a tool that helps you to make this stuff a lot easier, but you can still edit it the way you want to, and it just makes you think less about the annoying stuff. Yeah, uh, like exactly what you need for good oxide, where you have a ton of crates that all change, you know, more or less independently or together. And all I have to remember now is to create um, good conventional messages whenever there's something I want to highlight in the log, and then. At some point, I just create my release and it will go everywhere. It will look good and I won't forget anything. And besides the fact that the versions are handled automatically as well, and I really don't have to think about much anymore except for getting my messages right. And that's how I do release it. releases at GetOxide. And now you can too. Thanks a lot for watching and have a nice day. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.